Oh, here we go. Back at the ladder again. No waiting for stream to start interruptions today. Excellent. Brawl Hall of Happiness. Guess I should do this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Nothing like playing one game while you wait for another game. That's what it truly means to be alive. That's how I utilize my mobile phone. So I can play two games at once. Two games at once. It's the best and only way to play games. Perhaps. Perhaps. We'll see if anybody else is queuing tonight or not. Always hard to say. Oh dear. Hmm. <clears throat> Where's my phone blowing up? Can't you see I'm trying to play two games at once? Okay. Clearly. It's the only important game on my phone. Adventure Capitalist. It's very important. Dominating. Whew. I should probably use this time to warm up. And no, I don't play Clash of Clans. I mean, I have played Clash of Clans, but I don't play it. Come here, Orion. I want you dead. You know, if I could increase my hit rate with the hammer from like one in every 50 attacks to one in every 20. He's so much deadlier. What's up, Mag Bob and Maximus Maxi? How are my moderators doing this fine evening? <laughs> you want to know how to get a mod on my channel? You just be here all the damn time. Hey Milo2391, what's up man? Lord Frax! This should be fun. Oh. Three, man. two, one, brawl! Do, 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 do. things all day today. All day today, the whiffs.
man. There we go. Player two wins. Whew, GG. <clears throat> Never lost to a Taros before. Well, everything's got to change. Let me see if I can show you guys my angel count on Adventure Capitalist. I almost have the game finished. Let's see, can you guys see this? Nope, you can't. Well, maybe. It's a like really big number I can't pronounce. 2.983 Quinvigentillion. Ah, yep. <clears throat> Man, a lot of swords in this chat. <laughs> oh man. Well, after doing a very good job of limiting my stress levels for like the last couple of months, it's once again time to churn these things on because I found out that job interview I'm going to be having for my life changing job, if I get it, is going to be on Monday. So there will be no stream next week, Monday, because I'll be in California interviewing for a job. And it's not that like I normally get stressed out about things like interviews, because I normally don't give a crap about stuff like that, but it's not like this is a job where if I got it, like I'd be making a little bit extra money, or I would be, you know, working on a more interesting product or something like that. Like this job would be literally life changing. So, we'll see if it actually uh, works out or not. If it does, that would be sweet. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Magma Bob. Who is Magma Bob? This sounds so familiar, Three, like I've two, played one, this guy draw. before. Well. Oh, thanks for the positive energy, Milo. I appreciate that. I taught him the turn and spin, damn it. That was a raven technique. Oh, that should be. Nope, Terrace Armor. Terrace Armor time! Oh, 
man. Just figured I'd hug him. Spirit bomb energy for my interview next week. I like it. I like it a lot. It sounds shiny. <laughs> yeah, Milo, if you want to make subtitles for my guides, I would be more than happy to take them and incorporate them. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Talk to chat more. Oh, man. Yeah, actually, uh, who else? Uh, I don't know if you've met Scroyan or not. He's another, like... Uh, big competitive community guy. He's played in most of the tournaments and whatnot. He's a really cool dude. He's from Brazil. He was talking about translating him into Portuguese as well. Which, like, would be really cool. I would be all, all for that. I'm, like, familiar with the basics of how the translation stuff works on YouTube. Um, but not too much. So... I don't know. Let me know if you have a good idea for how to go about doing it. Because, like, are you talking, like, translation subtitles or translation uh, audio? Because I think subtitles are pretty easy to do with YouTube now, but, um... I don't know. Looks like we're fighting this Magma Bob person again. Three, two, one, brawl! Who could it be? Who could it be? Oh, that'd be really funny if it like hit him again, right? That would be hilarious, right? The state of MKX on everything but consoles is awful. The PC version is borked. It's just totally borked. <clears throat> but if you're, are you asking balance or performance wise? Because those things are different. Police in America are incompetent, and yeah, that's my opinion on that, basically. Um, it 
And let's see. The war on drugs is awful, and they should just legalize marijuana everywhere. Because they're wasting too much of our taxpayer dollars. And they could be making tax dollars if they just legalize marijuana everywhere. It's worked just fine for Colorado. I don't see why, uh... You can't just do this everywhere at the federal level. But America's kind of weird like that. So what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, man? I can't tell if Taros struggles with the power lance or if I struggle with the power lance. I think I might struggle with the power lance. <laughs> Uh, I'm married to a Brit, so by default, my opinions on Australians should be nay, I think. Oh, shit, I forgot to say GG. Oh, well. Sorry, Magma Bob, GG. <laughs> um, but I like Australians. All the ones I've met seem to be pretty cool. And I mean, you guys invented the Melbourne Shuffle, you know? There's always something to be said for that. All the Aussies I've met uh, at GDC have been really, really cool. There's a pretty big contingent of them that come out every year. <clears throat> yeah, Maxi totally distracted me with important questions. It's absolutely right. Haven't played Lone Three, Punisher in quite two, a long time. One, it's like he's also on Orion. No, my weapon. Uh, any response now? Man. Spartan Spearman, what's up, dude? You hate using the spear? The spear is like one of the best weapons ever, dude. It's got so much speed. It's got priority. It's flipping awesome. What is not to love? belongs to the lance. You, you just gotta embrace it. Just gotta embrace it. Oh, that 
that was hard as hell. One wins. Whew. Man. Oh, the AP tests are done, dude. That's good to hear, man. You feeling pretty good about them results? Feeling confident? Is that gonna like determine? I know how AP works in America. Three, two. If you're a junior, one, it means you're gonna be oh. taking like AP classes. Is that what this means? Like, His beats mine. <laughs> ah, well, what are you gonna do? Catches uppercuts from below. That's annoying. This dude. Ho ho ho! Ba na 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 I think we've all established that everybody who hangs out in this channel, all of you are younger than I am, so by my barometer, you're all kids. So young, so disillusioned. I just blew myself up. What well, pots and pans said it means that I'm the worst.
bum bum. Son of a bitch. He's Orion flipping signatures, dude. Well, I think we've established what you need to do to beat Taros that not everybody else is doing. They just walk backwards. You walk back and you beat him. No, I'm getting salty already. <laughs> Player two. Bum, 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 bum. Why does it keep ranking me up? I want to go like beat scrubs and stuff. My phone's blowing up still. Okay, let's put a venture capitalist away. So somebody tell me what I'm doing wrong against Orion. Somebody. Somebody explain to me so that I can start beating him. Triple knockout dominating. Bum What the heck is going on? Why do people keep tweeting me? Three, two, one. Don't draw. want to be tweeted. Is it Lone Punisher again? It is. Thank you, Maximus.
Oh, these old signatures, dude. Every time they get me. Whew. Player one wins. The salty Mortal Kombat streams of mine are awful. They're just really bad. Bum -ba -da -dum. All right, my minions, I want all of you to activate. S run now to the Steam discussion forums and point out to everybody how all of the boundaries of the 1v1 maps need to be the same size as Mammoth Fortress. Because by God, the tiny ass map size on King's Pass and flipping Twilight Grove is really starting to bug me and it's making some of these characters far less balanced. For example, Taro suffers greatly from not having more ability room to make use of his big ass armor. Shit needs to get changed. I should probably just go make a post. Be like, Raven Army says. Woo! Oh, I died. So, what I'm thinking is that uh, at some points. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vibes because 3D glasses are so Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles era, perhaps? Because it's swag as fuck? That's also quite a good, <laughs> good lovely reason. Oh, that was awesome. That was that. Man. So one of the things I've discovered about Taros is that you can't like win with like through conventional conventional means. Like Dominating. as far as I can tell, like everybody, you can only win with Taros by playing like scrappy as hell. Algebra 2 at sophomore year is standard. Perhaps it is. Let me guys tell you something. Yes, you're going to use algebra a lot in your adult life. But you're not really going to be using much of the other stuff. So, maybe a little bit of geometry here and there. But largely, like, the most important, like, math concepts I've found are applicable to everyday life in the real world is, like, variables as a concept, not necessarily in order to do math, but as a concept, and percentages. Like, it amazes me the amount of kids who are like, yeah, you know, I was an AP calc and like still don't understand how basic percentages work. It blows my freaking mind. Shut down. Well, that's because you're Australian, Maximus, and you have to use like weird stuff down there. I would like to think that anybody who sits in my channel would like to aspire to more than flipping burgers at Mickey D's, though, 76 slash Kappa. Kappa. <laughs> Three, two, one, roll. Uh, hey, XO, what's up, man? Oh, that was swaggy as fuck. Man, Exo being so mean. I don't even know what that means. People in higher classes. Does that is that still a thing? Woo! 
that was weird. Son of a bitch, man. What? Really? Of course. I touch the wall and I get no recovery back, because what is that all about? There we go. I don't want an axe, no, no. these small ass flipping stages man small ass stages Ugh, nobody's complained yet I'm gonna go do that like right now or to switch to knife because exo can't beat my knife let's see where is steam discussion three two one crawl oh, crap nuggets against that so like very severely Come on, the weapons. Oh, slip.
Ugh. Oh man. Player two wins. All right. I know now what I need to do. At least against Exo. Yeah, and I's really great if you have a defensive play style. Taros isn't so much about. Uh, at this point, I feel like Taros doesn't have a defensive play style. What he has is you need really good footsies and understanding of spacing, and I do not have that. <laughs> at least not right now. Not to be able to beat Exo with the Lone Punisher anyway. At the moment. I've also discovered that with Taros, you really have to like play really scrappy. You can't rely on your weapons, because his weapons and attack speed lose, like, in 90% of scenarios. So... Out of here, XO. Thank you, thing. I feel like XO has no idea how to use the hammer. Like, he just waits until he gets the sword. Oh, my day was pretty good, man. It had some good news and some bad news, but mainly it just had news. Uh, yeah, what was the bad news? I don't think there was bad news, just good news. I think it was just good news. so bad at this game. For nice guitar, what is the best way to use them? Alright, if you want, what I will do is I will do a quick breakdown of how I play So here's all you have to do with Queen Knight, all right? Let's break this down real quick. <clears throat> Let's break down Queen Knight. 
Let's get in here. Training Training. Mode. Queen Knight is awesome, and I'll tell you why. It's because she has two distinct modes based on if you have the sword or if you have the spear or the guitars. Okay? And I will show you everything you need to know to win with Nye right now. Alright? So Nye's movement sucks. Alright? Everybody outdistances Nye. Don't try to chase people with Nye. Look at how slow she is. Like, she has a third of the movement speed of Hitori. She's awful. Alright? So, please, for the love of God, do not try to rush people down. What you do is you have two tools. First off is your spear. Alright? The spear is your zoning weapon because of this. Because of this, you have a, a stupid amount of space that they have to respect. They basically have to be this far from you at all times. Like, this is the distance that people have to worry about being closer to you than. That's a stupid amount of distance, okay? Anything closer than this, like if I'm right here, ping. Alright, so, this is how much space Nai controls. They try to like jump in on you diagonally, you just ping them with this, and they try to walk forward, you ping them with one of these, and you just got space control all damn day. Now the other thing that most people don't realize is that the spear neutral quick is so fast that it is doesn't even matter that Nye has slow attack speed. Like, it doesn't matter. This is Nye's fastest move. So the trick is being able to do this without like accidentally getting a forward tilt out. Because if you get one of these out, this is always the wrong move. This move is always wrong on Queen Nye. Why is it always wrong? Because it's super punishable. If you need to move forward and cover this distance, just do this. It's faster, and it recovers quicker, and you're less of a target. So, just never do this. Never do forward quick. You never want to do forward quick. You always either want to do this or this, based on how far away they are. So, never do this. Ever, 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 ever. When you, whenever you do this, you're wasting like 50% of your knockout potential. The other thing that you can do is you can just walk forward or walk backwards and then just jab out with one of these anytime they get close. Because this move beats like freaking almost everything. It's so good. It's probably one of my favorite moves in the game right now because it just wins against so many things. And if like somebody gets hit and they try to walk into you afterwards, you can just keep chaining this until they run away. It's flipping amazing. So, yeah. Anyhow. So that's the spear. So basically with the spear, you just want to keep them out. And any time that they get close, you just want to punish them with this. If they get close, do this. If they get right on top of you, do this. And then just look for opportunities to do this. But basically the spear is about keeping them out. All the time. Just keep them out, push them out, keep them out, push them out, push them out, push them out, keep them out. Super easy. You don't want to be doing this with Nye because she's not that good at this. This she is bad at. She has next to no movement compared to Hattori or Orion. So don't be trying to like air tilt spam these things. But the thing is, is you want to be able to do this and then leap in for one of those. Like you want to mix it up. Don't just sit here doing this all day. Like do three of these maximum. And after you've done three, then you know come in here and do this. That kind of thing. Alright, so let's talk about guitars. Guitars are the exact opposite strategy from when you have the spear. When you have the guitars, what you want to do is you want them to come in. Because this move is like the best freaking move ever. And I will tell you why. It is basically the best move for punishing bad approaches. Let's uh, show the hitboxes. Alright, so let's look at this. Look at the hitboxes. For the These things are ginormous. Unless you, like, are coming, like, directly on top of Nye, like, you're gonna run into one of these things. So, <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to be doing your normal, you know, look at me, I'm a guitar player type stuff. You know, do those things. You know, do this and the rest of it. But what you're really doing in the middle of all of your spinning is you're waiting for somebody to press the dodge button. Alright? As soon as somebody presses the dodge button, you kill them. Because if anybody dodges anywhere nearby, you can just kill them with this. 
okay? So all you're really doing is, you know, you're going through the guitar motions, you're playing what's got priority, but all you're really doing, or what you should be doing anyway, is watching the other character for when you can do one of these, because it's got so much force, if they're in red, it's gonna kill them, even if you do it at rapid fire, okay? So, that's basically that. Now, this move is really cool, but it's deceptively good. It gets beat out by a lot of shit. Like, the hitboxes don't come out until the very end of the move. So this whole time that you're moving forward, you're punishable. So you can get hit out of this move really easy, which is why I don't use this move nearly as much. Because the hitboxes come out really late, and the rest of it. It's just bad. Um... The one thing that has helped out Nye's gameplay quite a bit in addition to the dex adjustments is the instant air input where you press A and X or jump and attack at the same time. Because now she can do this, and this comes out really quick and is pretty safe. And it's really good for getting knockouts um, because Nye does have a lot of force. And you never really got to see that before, but yeah. So... This move is actually better for Nye than the dive kicks because this comes out a, a lot faster than the dive kick because the dive kick on uh, on um, this dive kick, I mean the one you see Lucian's doing all the time, it comes out a lot slower on Nye because of her move speed. So um, this one here is actually a little bit better. Because she doesn't have as much move speed and she doesn't move as far, you can actually do some fun things like this and you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and let's see, so, and then the last thing, um, yeah, I mean, you could use this to punish a dodge, but here's the thing, you never need to use this to punish a dodge, because if somebody is dodging away from you, all you need to do is follow their dodge a little bit, and then do it. So, like, if Scarlet were to dodge, say, like, towards that sword, I would just be like, bum, bum, oh, you dodged? Oh, I'll just follow you a little bit, and then hit this. Because it's always going to be... Actually, I don't even know what does more damage. Let's check this out. Alright. 34.4 on that one. 20.4 on that one. So I think we've established this is the superior move. By like 10 points of damage and pretty equal amounts of force. Um, the only other thing to note is that this move is actually good for when this one isn't gonna work. And this one is pretty much gonna work in all hitbox scenarios, but what's cool about this is that it punishes those people who are just like, oh, I'll just come down right on top of you because I'm tired of, you know, getting hit by this thing. Um, the other thing that it's good for is on the ones that have, on the any flipping uh, stage that's got, you know, platforms, because you can do this, and then afterwards you've got, like, soft combos into that, and then the rest of it. So the best way to KO with Nye, um, this move, and this move. Hey Atomic Rob, I'm probably not going to be playing MKX tonight because I don't think I'm going to be streaming that late. I think I'm actually going to be getting off of here in about an hour or so. Uh, let's see, what else is there? So this, this move, the instant uh, side air with Nye is good for knockouts as well. And then, of course, you can always go for, you know, this one, depending on the situation that you're in. That's with guitars. With spear, it's this move. Like, this move all the way. Uh, you can get it with this one, but they have to be a lot lower health. This move, however, has got a stupidly good amount of force. And, like, you can knock people out with this one, too, eventually. They just have to be really low on health. But the way that I play Nye is just, like, keep letting people, like, play into you until they eventually self-destruct themselves. And that's why some people, like Exo and some of the other people I play, have a really hard time dealing with Nye. Because you keep thinking, like, oh, how can I get in? How can I get in? And then once you get in past all these signatures, she just punishes you up close. You know, and because she has so much force, or so much attack strength, like, sh her crap does a lot of damage, comparatively, you know, to, like, Lucy or Hattori, say, so, I don't know. It's good stuff. I really like her. She's probably one of my favorite characters right now. Alright, let's get back to ranked. Online. Do -do -do -do. But I feel like after playing Nai for like a week, I have a pretty good understanding of how she works. 
and that's part of why I'm trying to play Taros and Ranked, because, you know, honestly, like, I pay more attention to Ranked than I do when I'm just playing Customs with you guys. Not that I'm gonna, ever gonna stop, like, doing Custom Lobbies for the stream and whatnot. That will always happen for as long as I stream Brawlhalla. But, you know. See who's Q sniping me today. Oh, it's on tilt. Cool beans. As I've mentioned in the past, Taros does struggle against Three, two, Lucian, one, so we'll see one. if that prevails here. I'm just trying to learn him, Taibo. Like, I think, like, I was a little too harsh on him originally, and then between, like, the instant air change and then the, uh, the instant air change in addition to, um, the dex thing, I just wanted to see if he was a little bit more viable now. I think he's still awful against Lucian, though. I don't know. I mean, I've mounted some pretty insane comebacks with him, and I've beat some good players with him today, but it's not enough. Jesus, Lucian. Uh, yeah, we made a lore thread on Reddit after a very deep and interesting discussion last night. It's really hard to predict when on tilt is gonna dodge. Player one win. <clears throat> Alright, I gotta go and smoke real quick. I will return here shortly.
Alright, I'm gonna be streaming for another, I don't know, hour or so. Alright, so I was on the uh, Brawlhalla subreddit, as I do, and somebody who is maining Taros who's stuck in silver was asking about how to play people, like how to play against lances and things. So, I don't know. I still don't feel like I have a good enough handle on Taros yet. I'm actually thinking about providing some core feedback to the devs instead of just, you know, complaining or waiting for you guys to do it. I'll start my own little discussion. Because I feel like part of the problem with Taros right now is that his uh, axe normals have no neutral game. Right? Like, it all involves a really annoying amount of, like... So Holy Pale, have you not Three, seen two, Fate's Day one, Night? Brawl. Come on, man. Dead people always fight. What? I think lances are a great weapon. I love lances. Lances are fantastic, bro. Whew. Hey, Quaddy One. Well, here you go, man. <laughs> it's happening right now. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I've been uh, playing Taros like for about six hours today, trying to like get a better handle on him. I did not originally climb the ranks with Taros, but I, uh,. I am here now. Still haven't lost too many ranks with him. Actually, I've leveled up today, so... Whoa, that was risky. I don't know, Taros is an interesting character. Like, he's super slow. So, yeah, his neutral game is really bad. Like, and his footsies isn't the best either. Um, but he has a couple scenarios where if, like, when and if you get a hit in with Taros, the thing is, is like that's always super good. If you can get like one good pressure string off with Taros, like the other guy's gonna be an orange and he's gonna be very sad. Uh, but what I've discovered is that you really have to like rely on all of your tricks until you can get into a situation where he wins. <sighs> like that one. You know, Milo2391, I don't know if there will ever be voice acting, but if there is, I hope they let me audition for it. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, Taros for the win. Anyway, yeah, so let's see if I can't talk through some of this when we're in... Um... 
Oh, Magma Bob, giving me all his elo. Okay, so basically axes have like two or three good moves. And then the threat of Taros's signature moves are usually good enough to get people to like play differently. Because like with a lot of these characters, it's like... really difficult to have a situation where oh my god shit all right so like this like the threat of that move is normally really good for uh like just making people respect the distance But, let's see. I can go over his most useful moves as far as like things that I've come to rely on. So this one, this signature with the, the hammer is actually really good if you space it right. It doesn't beat stuff like we saw right there because the hitbox comes out too late. Um, yeah, because it comes out really slow. But you can occasionally catch people off with it if they're not prepping a move, which is nice. But you basically have to completely catch somebody off guard with it. Uh, let's see. So the other big thing, like, with his um, hammer combos, anyway, is, like, you always want to get them into a situation where you can land a uh, down light stomp into, like, an air neutral or whatnot. Because if you can land that, you're going to do a great amount of damage and then knock them out like that. <sighs> so that move, like getting them into a scenario where you can land a down light with a hammer is always really good. Um, and then of course, like the priority for Taros' air moves is actually really good. The fact that he has instant air tilt now is also really good. Um, it's basically the axe comes out about as fast as the sword does. Um, so you really want to like Put yourself in situations where you can take advantage of that. I hope any of this is making sense because I know, like, normally I try to explain these things a little bit better instead of just rambling about them. So yeah, this, the instant air down, is actually really good for edge guarding, like more so than uh, for just like trying to do it like as you're walking along the platform. Um, the fastest move that Taros actually has with the axe is his um, uh, tilt quick. Yeah, the Axe Neutral Air is really good against uh, Auto Arms. It loses out to some of the other things, but... Oh my goodness, that combo chains. Why does it chain? Oh. Woo, 
that was close. Uh, if I can get one more hit, I'll win. Oh. Uh, yeah, you're right, Spartan Spearman. You're right. <sighs> I do have to have the whole cast. I would do that right now, but I'm having too much fun playing 1v1. Blonked. Apparently, I've never played Blonked. That was intense, dude. Stop spying on my stream and learning all my tricks. Nice spacing. Up. Oh. Nice. No, I don't want to live. The hammer stop to neutral air, you mean? <laughs> yeah, the hammer stop to neutral is basically one of Raven's, like, Raven's? I meant to say Terrace's 
one of Taros's best tools. Like, basically, you should not be trying to do anything with Hammer besides try and figure out, like, how to set that up. And usually you can catch people with it because, um... You just have to, like, learn what people's dodge Three, habits two, are. And one, a lot of people have, like, really, like, common dodge habits. So uh, a really good example is they'll pick up an item when they're near to you. And then... Um, Gotta figure out new ways to approach, man. Figuring out new ways to approach. so annoying like the fact that it's just air tilts all day having to deal with it because there's like no like taros can't taros cannot beat out air tilts like with any weapon he just can't he just can't do it right so at least not with a weapon. Sometimes he can do it with unarmed if he is like super. Oh, that would have been sweet if it hit. I still jumped into it. No, from miles away. Jesus. No, damn it. Yeah, against air tilts, there's not much Terra's can do because the axe gets out distance and the uh, hammer gets out spaced. So you can't go into an air tilt battle and try to win. 
and he doesn't have the movement speed, so like, you basically have to get used to like, either double jumping, which I'm terrible at, or trying to come in like, through like a ground angle or something, or just not doing it at all. Uh, it is okay, Spartan Spearman. I don't mind that it's not relevant. I just, uh, you know. I'm trying to concentrate. Takes so much patience. So much patience, man. Sorry for being extra quiet tonight, guys, but you know I am trying to concentrate as hard as I possibly can. Oh, man. I don't have problem approaching women. Talking to girls is easy once you realize that they're just people like you. 
That's like the biggest problem with most, uh, with most guys. It's like, you gotta learn how to be able to approach people. Think about it that way. And you'll be fine. Dominating. You know. Alright. Down air spam. Yeah, okay. You're talking about this thing with the axe, right? Like this. Doing this. Am I correct in that assumption? Quade one. <laughs> I can't approach Ada, she's too pretty. Oh no. Now I have to approach Cassidy with the nice red hair? Oh man. Three, what am I two, gonna say to her? One, You're like, do you want to drink some whiskey with me, cowgirl? What is this, like pots and pans? Would have been really funny if I survived. <laughs> Just be like total Beauty and the Beast with it. So OP. He was nicer than XO. I had to close it out with the uppercut. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? On our broken? Come on, pots and pans. Is this you, pots? Are you trolling me right now? Is that what you're doing? Three, two, one, brawl. <sighs>
state is so broken, man. Ugh. Patience. This guy is so one-dimensional. One It'd be good wins. if he learned how to play the rest of the game. Uh. <sighs> you just insta-gibbed Blanked. Oh, that sounds magical on Three, tilt. Two, one, Do you have any footage? Four. This is not the new patch, Aquaronin. It just is. The devs need to fix that nonsense. Uh, excuse me.
Three, two, one, brawl! Do 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 do. Steam does not need more New Jersey. The New Jersey needs more stream. No, but this is actually like what this guy's doing. This is actually Ateris' weakness. Like basically he can't outspeed anybody, right? So all you need to do is just keep being aggressive and eventually you'll win. Like Taros like relies on you being really bad to win. And if so, like, there are just some things that he can't deal with. You just figure out what those things are, and then you just keep doing them over and over again like this guy is. It's very difficult to win as Taros, because basically, um... No, it's not that Unarmed's broken, it's that Cassidy, Cassidy's move speed is really good against Taros. Like, if this was Lucian or something, it wouldn't matter, right? Because in the Lucian matchup, Cassidy would just get totally wrecked by uh, Katars, because Katars beats Unarmed like 9 times out of 10. Ah, oh, crap, wrong. Nice base, though. Uh. Uh, sorry, blocked. Not my fault, dude. Not my fault. It beats it. <laughs> oh man, this guy's a robot, dude. The only thing you have to do to beat Exo is play Queen Nye. Do man. Three, two, one, brawl. Oh, he does know a couple sword attacks. That's cool. Oh, 
Ow. Bollocks. Alright, Blanc, have a good night, man. Thanks for the games today. Man, I'm starting to get Brahalla Blister again. Starting to get it. Frickin' hard. Ah, <sighs> Magma Bob. I've caught up to you, my moderator. <laughs> Three, two, oh man, one, I gotta end the stream wow. after this one. I gotta go, guys. I got work tomorrow. I got sleep to have. You try something so risky and ranked. Why? <sighs> yeah, but unfortunately, I have to be highly productive. Unfortunately, sleep is related to how highly productive you can be, and I need to be highly productive tomorrow. Nobody distract me. I've got shit to do right now. Those are two terrible ideas, Spartan Spearman. Two terrible ideas. Dang it! Dodge on reaction, damn it! Oh, 
Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. Hanging out on the wind. Oh crap! I didn't even get to touch the ground, man. That would have been really funny if it had, uh, if it had exploded. into it. I gotta stop jumping into things. Drake! Drake Jellin! What's up? No bad that the stream's gonna end. Dude, you should take over the stream now. I would host you, except I'm not sure how. Ugh. Player two wins. But thank you for swinging by, my friend. Oh, man. I guess I should play one more. I guess I should play one more. Oh, here comes the match. This is gonna be the last one. One last once against Magma Bob. I've taken over Magma Bob's spot and ranked, so I feel good about that. Three, the patch did two, not come out, Drake. One, we are still on the same old build. Really? Whoa! So good! Ugh. This bit's gotta talk shit now and distract me. I dodged into it. That was terrible. <laughs> no. Ah. 
I had just a little bit less knockback. The lance, that is. Like, if it didn't push you so far away, but left you close so you could, like, retaliate from nearby, that would be sweet. Blister Foreman. Alright, guys. I unfortunately need to close down the stream. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, so I think we started around rank 30 today. Now we have ended at rank 15. I'd like to think that, that is good progress. If you look at this, it would appear that we only have these people. So let's see. Somebody, 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 alt, somebody, somebody, alt, somebody, 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 somebody. So we have about 12 people to get better than. With Taros. Hmm. Well, this should be an interesting challenge. <sighs> All you gotta do, man, Drake, is just uh, get people to uh, get your girlfriend to understand just why you're streaming it, and then get her to watch. Although I'll admit my wife does not watch. She's popped in like a couple times, but she does not watch. All right. Well, 